So we have a number of different uh, working relationships within a community to ensure that we are the last resort in regards to dealing with the expected uh, First Amendment rights being uh, expressed. Uh, working with you know our faith-based partners, uh, working with uh, a number of those community organizations that are uh, involved in the uh, activities there. And so the measure of success that I look at is the level of collaboration. I want to point out that, you know, uh, Sheriff Ball here, uh, part of many, um, you know, law enforcement resources who are um, coming together to make sure that we're on one sheet of music and understanding that it's not that we're not going to have challenges, it's how we handle those challenges. Uh, the intent of our respective role is to really be invisible. That this is all about the RNC, the attendees, about our wonderful city, about the offerings that we have within our community. Uh, to have us as the first conversation, I don't feel that that's the appropriate way of looking at what this event represents. And so for us, we understand there's going to be challenges, but you know, uh, look at us, how, how we handle it. Uh, being that, again, the expectations were a last resort, using our liaisons, using so many different community people to be that front-facing part. But we do understand that we do have a role. We expect that there is a First Amendment expression, not destruction, nor hurting anybody else in regards to keep your hands to yourself. So the expectation is express yourself. This is what our Constitution is based on. But we will not tolerate anything beyond that particular type of activity because this is our city and we're proud of it. And so and just to follow up, what, I, what I'm hearing you're saying is that there's quite a bit of planning going in, a lot of work with people on the front end to try to mitigate any potential disruption. But if a disruption does happen and you look back at how you handle it, what will your measures of success be in the moments when you're actually handling potential civil disturbance? So I will look at it from a standpoint that uh, did we do it in the legal way? Did we do it in a manner that is expected for the rules of our engagement? Is it respecting what the Constitution expects out of us? You know, this is not going to uh, be where we're going to um, look for trouble or instigate, but we are ready to respond. And that uh, as long as we do it within the legal measures, the lawful measures, the rules of engagement, that is success.